All right, today the goal is to set up the assignment types and calculations in the grade book and then actually add an assignment. So it's very important that you set up the assignment types and the calculations before you add an assignment. So this is what we're going to do first. So we'll find most of our time we'll be in, as a teacher, we'll be in faculty. And I'm already there, so I guess i got to click it again. <clears throat> All right, then you hover over your classes. All your classes should appear here. I'm just going to go to Science 6, First Bell. This year, we're not going to worry about bullets and boarded topics. You are free to add those, but what we're going to be looking at is the grade book. And so we're going to launch the grade book. This is due from May when they showed us how to do this. It's now a button right here. So you click grade book. It opens up a new window. And where we want to go to is settings so we're going to go to settings and in here you have many options that you can set up how you want to do your grade book like you want to show your last name first name or however you want to sort them uh, well for calculations we want to click over here at grade calculations and that's what we're dealing with right now so you can see i had already set this up um, I tried to remove it, but it wouldn't allow me, so we're just going to continue with it. So if you go right here, calculation method, and you have three choices, percentages, total points, total points with weight. Now, if you're confused about what those are, you just want to learn what they are, click the little I right here, and this, this describes how the three are. So that's uh, what they are. So what you want to do, I chose percentages. I can select the assignment types right here. And the email or the uh, Wednesday weekly said that if you don't see what you want to use in here, uh, to email Mrs. Snyder, and she will put that in there for you. So I've actually added some that I want, haven't gotten them yet, so I'm just going to stick with these. I use classwork, projects, and tests. Click what you want, go apply, and originally this comes up blank, but then what you will be required to do is because I selected percentages, is select the weight. So I did 50% test, 30% projects, and uh, classwork is 20%. Now, something else I can do that Mrs. Khan asked us that we are suggest that we do, and I'll do that now because I think I saw that in here. Yes, other. I'm going to add other. Okay. So other, I'm just going to give a weight of zero. What did, what, why would I do that? Um, so now, if there was something I want to tell the students to bring to class or just to remind them about something, I can add an assignment and choose it as other. It won't be uh, chosen in my grade book. I'll show you when we get there how to unselect that. But I can tell them uh, to, to remember to bring so-and-so book for the class or something like that, and it will be in their calendar. So. Uh, so there it is, and uh, and then I can, because I've already done this, I've been pl playing around with it, I should be able to select other classes that I can apply this to. They're grayed out because I already have things in the other classes, uh, so uh, I will have to do those individually, or I could have selected them to begin with, but I didn't do that. thing here also, is this is just for quarter one, I would have to go back down, and this is where I can set up for others. For each quarter, you would have to do this, and but you can do it for the individual classes as you go along. This is something we need to do every year, they said. The first thing, beginning of every year, we are to set up our assignment types and calculations uh, before we can add any assignments. When you're done, just click Save, and you are set up. Now second part of what we want to discuss is how now that I've set up the, the calculations, at least for the assignment types and uh, calculations for the first quarter anyway, uh, how do you add an assignment? So you go right here. I'm still in grade book. Uh, I would still do those same steps to get the grade book. I go add assignments. Okay. So here I would step through the different things. They give you lots of options of how you want to make that look with links and other uh, uh, things that you can do with this, but you are to give some type of uh, title to it, something that, that's recognizable for your, uh, now I did science, 
So let's just do the scientific method to start the year. Uh, let me just uh, call it a project. How's that? And here I would give a description of what the scientific method project would be. Make a fold with the points of the scientific method. I can type. And I would give more description of exactly what I'm requiring of that. Uh, I would want to choose which assignment type I want. So I, since, since I called it a project, I'm going to give it a project here. If I want to send a notification, uh, it would send a notification to um, the students and parents, I guess, who have that selected in their, their setup. I can add this to my gradebook. Uh, it requires a, some type of abbreviation, so uh, I want to call it scientific method project, maybe. If I had a rubric, sounds like it's maybe too long. I'm not sure. Scientific method. Yep, apparently it only takes so many letters, so I uh, found that out there. There we go. If I had in a rubric, I can add that. There's a whole section of how to set up rubrics and things like that. We're not going to concern ourselves right now with that. Maximum points for this project, I say, is 100 points. Um, if I had other things for throughout the quarter and I knew this would be more important and, and uh, more demanding than some of the other projects I had, I could change the factor here to something greater than one. Um, I can... Now, have this, so this uh, assignment will be published, uh, the grade will, and accumulate the grade, okay? Here I can add, uh, drag a file or a sample or something or something they need to read about it. Uh, I can just add the attachment here, either drag or attach it. If there's a link, I want them to, to watch uh, about the assignment or to help add to the assignment, I can add that link there, put the description URL there. The file submission, uh, if I want them to do this electronically through Blackboard, I can set this up here. Uh, I know last year I did a lot through Teams and I had them through Teams, so I'll have to check to see which way is the better way of doing that uh, this year. Um, if I want this, if I end up having an assignment that I want to happen every week or every two weeks or something like that, I can create multiple instances of it and uh, set, you know, from the time and which due dates and so forth. Um, right now, I just want this to be a one-time deal. Um, so I can select different sections I can send it to. So if I want to do it in different classes, I can just click that. Uh, so like I said, I have another science class, I would click uh, the other science class with that, and I guess this is automatically, since both of my classes, science classes are hooked together, I don't see that here. That's something that I'll have to find out, because I don't see my other science class here. Interesting. Okay. Um, Guess because they're already here. Here they are. They're already selected for me, so I can unselect it. Okay, I figure that out. Um, set the due date. See the due date here. For some reason, is set up before. It's today's date, so it's not within the quarter. So I will want to set that up. Once I get everything selected, I want to hit save, and then that will be added. Now I'm going to cancel that because that's not really an assignment I want right now. But that's the two things that we need to do. We need to set up the assignment types uh, along with the calculations. That's the main thing to get started. And then you can start adding your assignments in the gradebook. Uh, hopefully that helps us out here.